Also on the ballot, Floridians voicing their choice on several key and controversial issues. Amendment 4 would have guaranteed abortion rights in the state of Florida, and Amendment 3 would have legalized recreational marijuana. But the two amendments missed the 60% threshold needed to pass. That was Jordan Segundo is live in Doral to explain. Jordan, good morning. Good morning, Lorraine and Ethan. While the amendments missed reaching the threshold, both measures did receive majority of the votes, but it just wasn't enough to pass. Two high profile amendments on the ballot in Florida, abortion rights and legalizing the use of recreational marijuana, both getting a majority vote, but falling short of the 60% threshold. Amendment four would have rejected the six week abortion ban signed into law last year. This marking a victory for Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. When you're dealing with constitutional amendments, your default should always be no. Governor DeSantis tried to remove the measure from the ballot, which was overruled by the state Supreme Court. This is the government that is supposed to be administering these elections, not putting its thumb on the scale. It appears that the DeSantis administration is spending more than $19 million of taxpayer money. Much of that spending appears to be specifically related to Amendment 4, but what ultimately they are funding is a massive television advertising campaign. Abortion activists reacting to the historic vote. We came together, we put this on the ballot, and we've put in the hours, and we've put in the work, and a vast majority of Floridians are with us. The vast majority of Floridians, 57%, say no to an extreme abortion ban. Florida wasn't alone. Measures to protect abortion access in New York and Maryland were expected to pass. In Missouri, voters approved a measure to legalize abortion up until fetal viability, which would override the state's current ban on nearly all abortions. We will not allow this moment to overshadow each and every one of our efforts. We will continue to push forward because we have no choice but to. Because 84,000 patients depend on every last one of you in this room. Amendment 3 also rejected by Florida voters, which would have made marijuana use recreationally legal in the state. It was another measure strongly opposed by Governor DeSantis, who used state taxpayer funds to campaign against it. It's basically a license to have it anywhere you want. So uh, no time, place and manner restrictions. This state will start to smell. The measure also just barely shy of the 60 percent required. This after 71 percent of voters in 2016 approved medical marijuana use. So again, with Amendment 3 not meeting that threshold, mar marijuana use will only be legal in the state, only for medical use. As for Amendment 4, Florida's six-week abortion ban will remain in place. The closest states with looser restrictions on abortions will be North Carolina and Virginia, which is hundreds of miles away. Reporting live from Doral, Jordan Segundo, Today in Florida.